Uh, Jim? Hello. Um, I, uh, some months back, maybe half a year back or so, I found myself studying gold as a currency and ways in which one can hold gold. And I found that there are, there are banks which specialize in allowing people to have uh, gold reserves, essentially private gold reserves. You, you simply, uh, you, you fund, uh, they, uh, they uh, set aside however much gold uh, at current market prices and so on and so forth. You're familiar, familiar with this. Um, and I was intrigued by the idea. They were proposing the idea that over time one might be able to uh, start paying debts to various institutions uh, denominated directly in gold in the future, that they had some regulatory hoops to get through. But what do you think about this idea of doing an end run around gold-backed currencies using electronic gold, if you will? Well, I, I think it's a, I think it's a great idea. I, I don't see why. And I know people who, I know companies already do it. I think there's a, there's a, um, a payment system, and I forget its name right now, that basically everything's denominated in gold. I, I actually think there's a cryptocurrency out there where there actually every whatever, every piece of currency is is backed by some gold somewhere in a vault in Switzerland or in London or in Singapore, wherever the wherever they happen to have it. And you can trade those. I, I mean I don't see what the great advantage is, right? I don't see in the world as it exists right now why because it's so small and, and, and it's dominated by now if Facebook, for example, and I talked about this when I did the show on Libra, if it launched Libra, if, if it launched a cryptocurrency with Facebook and if it could get Amazon behind it, if it could get somebody like that, and then, and it was gold backed, let's say, then that would, that could really have an impact because then you're talking about massive volumes. Um, you would uh, you would store the gold somewhere. You'd have a, a gold reserve somewhere. Uh, so people would, I guess, people would buy the um, buy the cryptocurrency with dollars, but then the cryptocurrency would be denominated in grams of gold, and then people could exchange that and would have a relatively stable value. Although the, the value of gold vis-a-vis -vis the dollar fluctuates as well, and you know, and that could change people's attitudes towards gold. It still won't change the fact that the monetary system is dictated by the Federal Reserve and dictated by central banks. That you can't run an end around, but it could, it could theoretically long-term become kind of a default currency for a lot of trading and a lot of stuff like that. And maybe then by example, it would suggest that you don't need a Federal Reserve, you don't need a central bank. Hey, there are, there's a bunch of these private currencies that are working. Uh, that are backed by something real and that people are comfortable with trading with and we don't need dollars and yen and pound sterling and so on. Um, but I don't see any private company doing that. The alternative also is for a, a country like China to go on a gold standard or, uh, you know, so significant large economy to go on a gold standard and again, model by example what could be and uh, and and in a sense, that would be the way to replace the dollar as the gold as the global currency. If you could, in a, if you could in a uh, in a way that people believed, uh, convert your currency into gold-backed currency. Let's say if China did it and people believed that they wouldn't cheat, then um, then you could replace the dollar as the world reserve currency, and and that could be that could be significant. But I don't see anybody doing it. I don't see China doing it. I don't see the U.S. doing it. I don't see. I don't see the euro going there. Those are the three currencies that could do it. And then I don't see Facebook or Amazon or these guys taking seriously kind of a gold back currency. I, I don't either. And I, my sense was um, what was most intriguing was the idea that somebody had practically solved the problem of how, how to use gold without carrying gold or having a small vault in your own house or such. I think that solution is out there. I think if you if you if you Google cryptocurrency gold back cryptocurrency, you'll find it. So um, it's uh, I think I think they're out there. I, you know, I I think over time, crypto to the extent that it wants to be a currency will have to find things to back it, right? Rather than yeah, definitely. And and therefore, I think gold is one 
you know, Libra is offering to back the crypto, the currency with a basket of currencies of central bank currencies plus bonds, short term treasuries. So that's another way to back it. You could back it in a number of different ways and you could have competition between cryptos to do it. The cryptos I don't like don't back don't believe they need to be backed by anything. Like Bitcoin's not backed by anything. Yeah, not if stable. It, if it's backed by something, then I think it's a, it, it could be a real, uh, you know, real value add to the monetary system and to uh, the reducing transaction, co transaction costs. All right, good. Using uh, the Super Chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually... Uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourunbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...